Now turning to uh, Iran. Uh, almost one year ago, after withdrawing from the Iran nuclear deal, President Trump implemented the strongest pressure campaign in history against the Islamic Republic of Iran. The goal remains simple, to deprive the outlaw regime of the funds it has used to destabilize the Middle East for four decades and incentivize Iran to behave like a normal country. Up to 40 percent of the regime's revenue comes from oil sales. It's the regime's number one source of cash. Before our sanctions went into effect, Iran would generate as much as $50 billion annually in oil revenue. Overall, to date, we estimate that our sanctions have denied the regime well north of $10 million. The regime would have used that money to support terror groups like Hamas and Hezbollah and continue its uh, missile development in defiance of UN Security Council Resolution 2231. And it would have perpetuated the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Our goal has been to get countries to cease importing Iranian oil entirely. Last November, we granted exemptions from our sanctions to seven countries and to Taiwan. We this is to give our allies and partners to wean themselves off of Iranian oil and to assure a well-supplied oil market. Today, I'm announcing that we will no longer grant any exemptions. We're going to zero, going to zero across the board. We will continue to enforce sanctions and monitor compliance. Any nation or entity interacting with Iran should do its diligence and err on the side of caution. The risks are simply not going to be worth the benefits. I, I want to emphasize that we have used the highest possible care in our decision to ensure market stability. The United States has been in constant discussion with allies and partners to help them transition away from Iranian crude to other alternatives. And we have been working with uh, major oil producing countries to ensure the market has sufficient volume to minimize uh, the impact on pricing. Both the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates have assured us they will ensure an appropriate supply for the markets. And of course, the United States is now a significant producer as well. I can confirm that uh, uh, each of those suppliers are working directly with Iran's former customers to make the transition away from Iranian crude less disruptive. And uh, as I said, we're doing our part here in the United States too in 2018. Uh, crude production increased by 1.6 million barrels per day over the 2017 levels, and the U.S. Energy Information Agency predicts an increase of an additional 1.5 million barrels per day in calendar year 2019. Look, with the announcement today, we've made clear our seriousness uh, of purpose. We are going to zero. We, how long we remain there at zero depends solely on the Islamic Republic of Iran's senior leaders. We've made our demands very clear to the Ayatollah and his cronies. End your pursuit of nuclear weapons. Stop testing and proliferating ballistic missiles. Stop sponsoring and committing terrorism. Halt the arbitrary detention of U.S. citizens. Our pressure is aimed at fulfilling these demands and others, and it will continue to accelerate until Iran is willing to address them at the negotiating table.